I like people. I like to make people feel good. I want them to be happy. I just care for them. I want for their health that is physical but also psychological. I just want to find a solution for them. It means a lot for me. I've always been intrigued by the working of the brain, the ability it grants us, and the potential to modify and explore it. I purchased science with the intention of becoming an expert in this field. Brain research is a field that now is opening to new solutions and new types of research thanks to supercomputers. When I cycle, my brain is free to wander with things like medicine, psychology, technology, science, or just fun. I live inside and outside. I've been greatly influenced by my grandfather's ideas since my childhood. He's dedicated to improving our world through architecture introducing innovative designs that aim for both beauty and high functionality. My grandfather shares stories. He brings up examples of history, ancient art and poems. By the way, my grandfather can recite the entire Divine Comedy by heart. It's fascinating to listen to him. All these narratives have the same purpose. To encourage trust in their dreams and not to limit their aspiration due to the current state of science. I mean, if something has to be invented, it doesn't exist yet, obviously. Even more inspiring than my grandfather's stories is my grandfather himself. The stories give you good intentions but you can find even more motivation in seeing someone directly achieving one's dreams. Sometimes he tells us about his architecture competition around the European capitals. I remember the story about a competition in Paris where the building had to be a gateway without the upper closure. His colleagues tried to persuade him to follow the rules just once and forget about closing that upper part. He eventually agreed, and the winner was one who closed the upper part. This way, he tries to teach us to believe in our dreams and to trust in what we know and see. My grandfather is a dreamer. He doesn't let our norms confine his revolutionary concepts. I hope I inherited his dreamer spirit. Through the use of supercomputers, we can create computer-based simulations of the brain. These simulations enable us to study how the human brain works and how it changes over time. This will allow researchers to find solutions to brain disease and mental disease. And this is indeed my dream. There are simulations that can tell us where a disease in the brain is located. However, regular computers would give an answer after many years. Supercomputers can perform this computation in a matter of days or even hours. That is why they are so important. Sometimes, when I talk to experts, they don't give enough value to my interest in brain research. It can be demotivating, especially if they are experts in the field. I have an easy solution to this problem that brings back my motivation. I talk to my mates. I share my studies with students from all around Europe. Their confidence in themselves makes me feel comfortable again about pursuing my ideas. My dreams of finding solutions for brain disease are fueled not only by my curiosity and passion for brain research, but also by the hope of assisting other individuals I'm curious to see what cool stuff is coming up next. 
Anyway, I'm really optimistic. Mm-hmm. 